Hello everybody, um, back with another video. This one is going to be in regards of Whoop Connect. Um, for those that don't know what Whoop Connect is, it's basically where you can get a free tablet. Um, you just pay like a one-time fee of $11. Um, basically, you can pay it at your own convenience. Um, at least that's what they've told me. Um, the one thing that really pisses me off with Whoop Connect is like their customer service really sucks. The way they talk to people when they call in is unacceptable. It's rude. It's unprofessional. Um, because I came across like several agents that sat there and was like rude with me. Very cocky, very disrespectful, very like unprofessional. Um, and then they sit there and do not give like all the information that they should be giving to people. Um, because like I've had like where I've called in to get help with the tablet. Um, but anyways, um, it's basically, um, as I was saying, was that it's a tablet where it's for, like services are free. You just pay it like one time fee of eleven dollars. Um, so if you just go to like whoopconnect.com, like. Um, you can pretty much get it for free as long as you have like, um, like SSI, like so, like you get like social security, um, you get like, um, like food stamps, you get, um, it can be like one of the many, so you can get like, um, like social security, um, you get like food stamps, you get, you have children that are at school that get free lunch. Um, you get like housing and then I think there's like a whole bunch of others that um, for you to qualify for um, to get the tablet um, so the issue with whoop connect is that um, I've gotten a tap like placed an order on December 21st 2023 um, and you know like I at the time it's like wasn't really thinking clearly thought that I wasn't gonna use it um, and I said, I was like, okay, well, I want to cancel it. Like, um, didn't call until like the next day because the people that I had talked to on December 21st, 20, 2023, they're like, they were rude. They were very like cocky. Um, and it's like, and I've told them, it's like, you're being very rude. You're not helping me out. Like I'm trying to ask questions and all you're doing is like cutting me off. You're being a dick, you know, basically, you know, you're being rude, you know, about it. And, you know, so, like, F you guys, um, basically, and so I call back the next day to say, like, hey, you know, um, you know, I want to cancel the tablet, or cancel the order. Um, they're like, oh, well, it's been, it's pretty much already, like, been, like, it's ready to be shipped out. So it's like, oh, okay. So they basically, there was information that, like, that if there's information, like, that they are not, like, 100% verifying, you know, to, like, say, hey, like, are you sure that you want to cancel the tablet, like, cancel the order? Um, you know, to say, like, and not giving you the information. Um, so it's like, I don't, um, I guess my account is still active and everything um so i've had issues with the original tablet that i had gotten um like on like the f january 4th or 5th or whatever and so there was issues with the tablet um i called in and basically complained it's like you know this is what's going on and Basically, they're like, okay, like, well, this is what you do, blah, 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 blah. Like, here's the troubleshooting you do. Like, do you, are you sure you turned off, like, the Wi-Fi to it? And it's like, well, obviously, you know, like, I know what to do. You know, like, so, you know, um, so basically, they didn't like it that I was getting hostile with them. And, you know, so... They had a fit that I was getting cocky, you know, so, um, basically they were, um, um, so, anyways, um, and then, like, call back, like, the next day, 
day, and it's like, well, I still have, like, no data, like, at all. Like, they're not really telling me, like, okay, like, what the causes could be. Like, all they're telling me is some bull crap, bogus story. Like, they're like, oh, well, it's because you canceled out your service, like, you canceled out the application. You know, I've had several agents that sat there and said, oh, it's because you canceled out your account. Like, okay, cancel out your services. Um, and then I've had people, like other agents, that sat there and was like, oh, well, it's the SIM card itself. You need to take it out and put it in another device. It's like, nice try. And I've explained to them multiple times, and they were too dense to understand. Like, that they weren't understanding, like, anything that I was trying to say or explain to them. They just were, like, brainwashed and just not understanding anything and I told them that it's like you guys aren't like you guys are just not understanding at all what I'm saying like at all um I'm explaining to you that I take the sim card out it is does not fit in any of my other devices so therefore I cannot put it in another device so stop telling me to put it in another device when I can't it's too big for my other devices um so they didn't like it um so they're like okay well we'll send out a, a new device um like a replacement device this replacement device that i had gotten on um like tuesday which would have been like um january 16th 2024 um that because the first one i had gotten like on um, January, like, 4th, I believe it was, or something like that, so, um, I had called in, like, like, on, like, the 16th or the 17th to say, hey, like, the service, like, the data still isn't working, like, I keep getting told, like, this stuff, like, I keep getting told, like, oh, like, it's either the SIM card itself that's defective, or it's, because I canceled out my order. They're like, no, it's neither one. And so it's like, okay, well then what the F is the problem? And I've had one agent that sat there and said, oh, well, it's, you know, um, you know, you live in a low um, data area, like where the data is like really low. Um, and so you're not going to get the best reception for your data. So it's like, okay, well then I should have been informed, for, informed of that the very first day that I called in. But no, you guys are not giving out the information that people are needing or wanting to know because you guys are just neglecting to give that kind of information out. Um, I don't know what your guys' problem is, but you guys are not, like, giving out the information that is needed for people to know and they hated it that you know I told them that told them that and it's like you guys are just negligence like ne like neglecting to give people information that they are needing because you don't know how, you guys do not know how to communicate with people at all like and it's sickening you know and um and you just, you guys don't seem to care. Um, so, um, and they're like, oh, like, I'm so sorry that, you guys, that you're going through that, and blah, 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 and, um, so, you know, it's just, like, ridiculous, like, how they are treating people, like, very poorly, and, um, so, like, their attitudes, like, suck. They can sit there and say that, oh, I'm to blame for. Um, but the thing is, like, the reason why I acted the way I did towards them was because their attitudes towards me, the way they were talking to me, the way they were treating me, was complete bullcrap. Um, and I wasn't going to tolerate it. So, yes, I swore at them. Um, but yet they didn't seem to understand, like, what they were, how they were treating me was, like, unacceptable. So even the replacement tablet that I had gotten on the 16th, 
it's still like not working properly like it still had like the plastic wrapper around it like it was never used um like it kept doing like this thing where um the tablet was wanting to reset after two hours and like and it did it twice um like right away and like where like everything like because I was going through the process of getting it set up you know to get it so that it's um usable just like on wi-fi and um but it still kept saying um like the issue was it was just saying like oh like that android had to had to restart restart and that you had like like two hours to like click reset or click okay and then if you clicked okay like it would restart on its own within that two hours like an hour and 15 or nine or two hour limit um so um so they're gonna be sending me out a third tablet now because of these issues and i basically told them it's like this is ridiculous like I've had it give like get three different two replacement tablets now or we'll be getting my second replacement tablet because something is going on with these tablets where they're act acting wonky they're not working properly they keep acting up they're they're wanting to reset the whole like the tablets are wanting to like reset on their own um like and erase all the data like that would be like the apps and like everything you have on your phone or on the device um you know so it's like you know something was going on with these devices for it to like not work properly and that's where I was getting aggravated and pissed off and wanted to get to the bottom of but they were not helpful like at all they just wanted to get me off the phone because I was getting like annoyed and pissed off with like with them not helping and so basically they were just annoyed that I was telling them how it is it's like you guys like your customer service really sucks like really bad um and so they're sending me a third freaking device because the two like the first device like wasn't working properly like um and like the second one was just acting stupid it was wanting to reset all the data and everything so i'm hoping like hope to god that this third device that i get like freaking works like it should otherwise i'll tell them to like send me a bag so i can send this device back in and say bye don't want it like and go elsewhere um you know and just say like if this happens again then like like I don't want the tab like I don't want anything just close up my case close up my application account and like I'm done because I'm not gonna keep doing that like keep dealing with this crap so basically their customer service in general really sucks and they blame the customer for how they act but yet they don't seem to realize how they're treating the customer that's calling in. They're not sitting there like to take the blame for the, for their behavior or nothing like that. They want to just blame it all on the customer. Um, so um, good luck to whoever is working with them or that just recently applied. Um, good luck dealing with the customer service. Um, like, I'm not here to try to bash them or nothing. But I'm just trying to sit there and, like, let you guys know what happened. So thanks for watching. Bye.